In this video, I'm going to show you how to use some simple materials to create an electromagnet that you can attach to your crane to help pick up metal objects. If you can successfully demonstrate a working electromagnetic crane, you can earn back any points lost on the testing, quality, and creativity sections of your crane design challenge. Normally, a magnet is magnetic all the time. The molecular structure of a magnet causes it to attract and repel other magnetic substances. However, it is also possible to create a magnetic field in an object that is not normally magnetic, and what's even more useful is that this kind of magnet can be turned on and off. We call this an electromagnet. Anytime an electrical current flows through a wire, the wire gets a magnetic field. This magnetic field is usually pretty weak, but we can make it stronger by increasing the amount of electricity flowing through the wire, or by coiling the wire many times to amplify that magnetic field. Our electromagnets will be powered by a battery, supplying a specific amount of electricity. So to increase the strength of the electromagnet, we will need to increase the number of coils. We'll coil the wire around a copper rod, which is a substance that would typically be attracted to a magnet. A different material, like brass, would not work for this because brass is not attracted to a magnet. When we wrap the coil of wire around the copper rod, then run an electric current through it, the magnetic field that's generated will turn our copper rod into an electromagnet that we can use to pick up metal objects. By adding a switch to the circuit, we can turn the electromagnet on and off, so we can pick up and release the metal. To start, I'm going to bend the copper rod into a shape that will be able to grab lots of the paper clips. But I'm going to leave most of the rods straight. I'm going to pull a long piece of thin copper wire, then sand the insulation away from the ends until I have shiny copper exposed. One end of the wire gets taped onto the end of the copper rod with electrical tape, and now it's time to wind the rest of the wire. Again, the more coils we make, the stronger the magnet. So I want to wrap my wire tightly and keep it neat, to get as many wraps as I can. You can do this by hand, but I'm going to put the rod into a drill to help me wrap the wire. Once you reach the other end of the copper rod, use electrical tape to secure the wire, but leave the end exposed so we can hook it up to the rest of the circuit. To complete the circuit, you will need to hook up a 9 volt battery clip and a switch. You may need to strip some of the insulation away from the wires on the battery clip. One end of the electromagnet should be connected to one of the loops on the switch. One end of the battery clip should be connected to the other loop. You need to be sure that these wires make a strong connection with the loops of the switch, but don't touch each other. If they touch each other, they will create a short circuit, and you will not be able to turn off your electromagnet. A drop of hot glue can help keep the wires from touching once you've got them connected well. Test out your circuit to see if it can lift some paper clips. If it works, replace the hook on your crane with the electromagnet and position your battery and switch in convenient places that will not restrict the crane's movement. Practice using your crane to lift some paper clips from one side of the tester and drop them on the other. Again, if you can successfully demonstrate your improved crane, you can recover some big points on your project grade. Good luck!